<laughs> That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away! Just grab the... <laughs> Ugh, gross! Come on, let's get after that armor-wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Llama, 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 where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. I told you, I'm not the mayor, I'm the- Leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel a shovel, am I right? <laughs> How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Get out of the way, I was looking at that. What's that? Only one way to find out. What was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. What is it? Some sort of glove. Or a gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Whoa! Ah! How did... where... what... is this... thing? Seems like it's not hurting you, and that's good. It looks kind of... Okay, actually, it looks really cool. Uh, w which I know might not be what you want to hear right now. Petra, gotta tell you, I am freaking out here. It's gonna be okay. It'll be okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> well, uh, here. I'll help you take it off. Okay, ow, wow, stop! That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. Man, what are the odds? Command blocks? Portal keys? Why is it always me? I don't know, but there's definitely a pattern. Uh-oh, get off the pyramid, quick! Get you up out of there! Okay, now what the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground. Some sort of... heck mouth? Sure, yeah. Heck mouth. I... I don't think I can see the bottom. Ugh, gives me the willies. And what's that sound coming from down there?
Yep. Wow. That is bottomless. Well, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We should cover it up. Yeah, agreed. Sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but in here. Not getting out the way we came, though. So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something. Sure. Yeah, that works. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... That was really bad. That sounds a little weird, Petra. He better not be, like, a weird fish person. Uh, he's definitely not that. Trust me, I've heard a lot of good things about him. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. <clears throat> okay. Come on, you. <clears throat> Gotta get you home. We have to do something about that... that... heck mouth. We already did. It's totally sealed up. You did the sign. Can't we talk about this after I bring her back? Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I... I... kinda got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while, and... Now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh, it's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. Wow. Can't believe you're getting pushed around like that. That's kind of... Humiliating? Yeah, I know. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's... ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating... Without my sword? I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. I can smell a bully from a mile away, Petra. And I don't let bullies go. Being smelled on my watch. <laughs> You're one of the good ones, Jesse. Thanks. Come on. I can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and... <sighs> Get this thing off my hand!
This is it. Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. She claims the top level are the diamond class apartments, but they're just one block wider. If it's really Champion City, then where are all the champions, huh? More like Llama City. Uh, yeah, good one. But, come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Petra, you're not scared of her, are you? What? No, she, she's just... She's really manipulative, all right? Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. This Stella person sure likes her llamas. You might say she likes them better than people. Wow, that is a classy mineshaft entrance. Didn't know they could look that nice. Ha, huh, yeah. Nothing's allowed in Champion City that doesn't look nice. Stella makes sure of it. Wow, even the flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little trades all add up after a while. So why don't they leave, then? Why do they put up with it? Stella keeps some of them under her thumb, like my sword thing. But some think that if they impress her, maybe they'll move up, become a champion. But all their hard work is actually doing is making Stella's city better. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm gonna make sure of it. Hey, the llama doing okay? Hard to tell. She seems really nervous. We should probably get her to Stella as soon as you're done looking around. I can't believe Stella built this whole city. Yeah, but it's all fake. Made by people she's tricked into doing it. I'm not even sure she even remembers how to build anymore. There's Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Okay. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, oh she matches <laughs> your outfit one. You? Oh, Luna, my darling! You came home. You came back. Aunt uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is! Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No, 
Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do. Oh, boy. Yes, that's right, my rival. I am here to finally meet face to face. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. Just a puppy for this? That's a terrible trade. Rude. I just thought I'd offer. I heard you need a new pet. Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. That's... Ugh. Would you stop talking already? Your voice is exhausting me. Sword. I want sword. My sword. Preposterous. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Oh, we are going to talk about this later, Petra. Uh, I know. Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. Hey, you're the one that decided to live here. I... Yeah, I deserve that. Like you said, let's talk about it later. Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm gonna get my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. <laughs> We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute. Oh, no. How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? Easy, puppies. See? You like bones, right? Not again. Coast is clear. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge box, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Okay, now I'm just getting mad. 
Being a hero and being cool is more than just having a room full of treasure. Especially treasure you got from other people. Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. I just can't believe you didn't tell me. That you thought you had to hide it. I didn't want to hurt your feelings, okay? Ugh! No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero! You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources! Just look at today! We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late! I can't even get my friends to spend time with me! Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest, and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time! It gets embarrassing. Come on, Petra, do you really think that's fair? We have lives. I have a whole town depending on me. Ah, uh, no, it wasn't. You might have a point. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Check it out. That's right. It's Petra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. Hiya! Ah, this is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. <laughs> and by her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they can take on. <gasps> oh, hi! <laughs> Uh, you! You should not be here! This... this is, um... Uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. I gotta tell you, Stella. I'm actually a little flattered here. Didn't know you thought so highly of me. Uh, no. No, I, I was being sarcastic because I hate you! You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. That's right. The day I reclaimed the upper hand. Curse you, Jesse! Classic rival. Rah! Feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Well, you're welcome. But you definitely owe me for that one. Yeah. Yeah, I do. What is that? And they're charged? That should be impossible! Tell them that! Stupid cheap sword! I got you covered, Jesse! So good to have you back! No, you don't. Ugh. Woo! That would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome. 
Come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. we're going to get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jax fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, then these people are dumb. Just because I'm the boss doesn't mean I can't mix it up. <laughs> uh-huh. Sure, sure. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy... Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? I've, I've heard legends of how great he is. Hey, you're a great adventurer too, Petra. Just play it cool around him. Well, I mean, I'm no Jack. But I'll give it a shot. Good advice. Jack and Nurm's Adventure Emporium. <coughs> yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Wow. The Upper Lowlands? Spider Peak Mountain? The Ice Crags of Doom? It's just like I told you! Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. Uh, I think you mean best adventurers in town after us. Oh, well, yeah, of course I do. You're not jealous, are you? Because that sounded kind of jealous. Maybe a little. Aw, uh, Jesse, don't be so insecure. Just because I'm excited to meet these guys doesn't mean that I think you're any less cool. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nurm's Adventure Emporium. <gasps> I mean, sup? You push the button. Very, very brave. Uh, thanks. I think. You're not being sarcastic, right? I don't make a habit of it. The warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. 
so cool. Do you think you'll start talking like a normal person anytime soon? All in good time. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Aye, whoa! Yeah, that's what we're here about. <coughs> uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Jack, look at yourself. We know you're lying. Why? Yeah, uh, be straight with us, um, Daddy-O. I... that is, uh, um... Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters? Yeah. And it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol? <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. Wow! I'll be sure to remember that the next time I see a mysterious prismarine gauntlet. That sass won't fix the pit any faster, you know. That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So, where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument. Because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it... the Sea Temple. Hmm. Hmm. No.